Hello boys and girls in the city of Richfield. This is Coach Omar McMillan for Richfield High School. I'm so ecstatic to be here today to uh, help you go through some basketball drills that you can do at home. Uh, a couple I'm going to do today are very basic. We're going to work on dribbling, uh, a couple of shooting drills, uh, just to kind of simplify things and give you something to do to increase your game and skills. Uh, first, I'm going to start off with some stationary ball handling drills. Now, you're probably wondering why do I have on these gloves? Uh, a lot of NBA players, a lot of college players, and some high school players, they do what they do, their individual warm-up type of thing. And I like to start off by trying to get the form of the ball. Okay? You want your hands to get used to the basketball so that you can know how to handle it and have it in your hand. Now, if you want to make it a little bit tougher, you put some gloves on. Okay, uh, Basic uh, Home Depot, Menards gloves, or you can even go get your winter gloves. You will tell the difference at how hard it is to control the ball. So this is just a basic warm-up. Okay? So, gripping the ball, we call this pat the rock. So you're really trying to get adjusted to the ball and the grip of the ball, but it makes it a little bit harder because you got the gloves on. Okay. Now, as we do this, I start off in a straight up stance, but then we want to get down into our basketball stance. Everything that we do, we want to make sure that it's centered around basketball. Okay. Then we go into what we call around the world figure eights. Okay. So we can move it around our bodies. Now, if the basketball is a little bit too big for your body, we do these called rolls. So you can roll it around your body. But you want to try to go around, giving you some of you are very number oriented. So maybe 10 times, maybe 20 times around. You reverse it. Move around your leg. Both sides, you can do it 10 times. Make sure you kind of balance it on both sides, the right and the left. Then we go around our head. So that's a basic warm up, and you can probably do that for maybe two to three minutes. Okay. Then make sure I got a good ball in here. We work on our dribbling. Okay. Make sure you balance it out. We have two types of dribbles we have fire and we have pound. Okay. This is pound, where you're really pounding the ball into the ground. You want to probably do it 10 times, both sides. And this is fire. Well, there's a rapid dribbling motion, both sides, you're using your fingertips. You got your gloves on, so I can feel it trying to slip away from me because I don't have that same grip. Move over to the left hand fingertips all right and then you can go between the legs both sides you got your crossovers and one of the things I want us to focus on if one of my varsity assistant coaches are here coach Walker he would say make sure those eyes are up those eyes are on a target so what I would suggest if you're outside, right in front of the garage or right in front of the wall, you can make a point right on that garage wall and that's what you focus on. If you happen to be in the house, like I used to do and drive my mom crazy, I used to be in the basement, focusing on that mark on the basement. I would sneak and make a mark on that wall and that's what I would focus on. Okay. You can go behind the back. Okay and work on those little things. So that's kind of the dribbling things that you can do. I'll show you some little bit more dribbling when we get our cone work, but that's just the warm up. So the next on the dribbling, we have what we call, uh, I'm gonna make up a new name for it. We got our cone and our chalk drill, okay? Now the reason why I say cone and chalk, maybe you have one or the other. If you don't have cone or chalk, you can use cans or soups if your mom let you. Uh, you can use chairs, you can use a lot of different obstacles to help you work on your ball handling skills. Okay. So you want to put the cones in probably a straight line. They don't have to necessarily be in a straight line, 
but something that you can dribble through. So I'm just gonna use five for the demonstration. And I like to go into five sets or five different variations, okay? The first one is right hand. Remember, like Coach Walker says, eyes up. Come back, left hand. That's one set, because you got to make sure that we're doing both right and left. Another one might be a crossover. Eyes up. That's a second set, okay? Depending on how advanced you can do, you can go between your legs all the way through. You can go behind your back. And as you progress in this, you want to get faster and faster. Now, if you're not, if you're a beginner, spread the cones out a little bit wider. And that'll give you a little more space to go through. Now, one thing I want to say, and I say this a lot of times at my basketball camp, we also teach what we call mental toughness. So if you're going through this drill and you mess up, you mess up. Go get the ball and come right back, okay? So if the ball runs over there, run over there quick and come back and force yourself to continue when you mess up, okay? No perfect players, you know? Uh, you got Michael Jordan out there, you got Steph Curry, you got LeBron James. They all miss, they all make mistakes, but they come back, that's what makes them tough, okay? Now, another thing that you can do with the cones. You can spread them out. And uh, if you got a friend out, there's two friends out, or you got your parents coming out. Uh, one thing that we could do if I had different cones, you can kind of do it like uh, the game, what is it, red light, green light? So you can stand in a cone and your mom can say yellow and you hurry up and dribble to that yellow. She say orange, you hurry up and dribble to that orange. And then if she says backpedal yellow, you can go backpedal, get to the yellow and you're working on your ball handling skills, but you're also working on listening and following directions as well too, okay? Uh, one more cone thing. If you're competitive, like I am, okay, and depending on uh, your driveway, depending on how busy your street area is, uh, one thing we used to do as kids, and one thing I do at my basketball camp, we make it like a dribbling obstacle course, okay? So you put the cone somewhere, and what you're basically trying to do you can have your parents do this, or you can have your own little stopwatch, and you're trying to get to every cone and back to the starting one in a certain amount of time. I would say keep track of the first time you do it so you can see your progress each time you do it. So you got a ready, set, go, you get to that cone, then you get to the other one, then you get to the other one, then you get here, then you get here, and stop, check the time, and see what your time is, okay? So those are some dribbling drills that you can do to keep you active, get your heart rate up, uh, keep you moving, but also to keep it competitive and see what your progress is. Let's go to shooting. All right, so two things I wanna work on now with shooting. Uh, the traditional form shooting, you probably have heard that from a lot of different coaches, a lot of people that play basketball. And then a quick drill that you can do to kind of show your progression and making sure that you're working on the correct shooting techniques, the correct fundamentals, okay? So let me start off with form shooting. You wanna get as close as you can to the basket but without getting all underneath, okay? Your eyes should be on your target where you're at. They call it beef, okay? Balance elbow and follow through, elevation and follow through. So. 
you want to make sure that you have your ball in the hand. Some people go with one hand, some people go with two. Depending on the level of basketball player, I would say two and then into one. Make sure you're in a shooting stance, elbow up, follow through, get on your toes, okay? And I would say three would be the magic number. Once you make three, step back. If you miss, go back forward. Step back, do the same technique. It's all about balance. Toes should be pointing towards the basket. Elbows should be pointing towards the basket. Eyes should be looking towards the basket. Arch and follow through. Okay. So that's form shooting. Back in the day, I probably can make it all the way to the three-point line, okay? But for the sake of time, I won't show off. <laughs> all right, so now we have, uh, so as we do our form shooting technique, we have our kind of our, our, our around the world, short around the world shooting. So on this side, on the left-hand side, again, I'm gonna give shots out to Coach Walker and Coach Mullenbach. If we were in my gym, they would say left-hand shot left hand shot left hand on the left hand side okay so we're on the left hand side foot planted left leg up here use the backboard and follow through now as you progressively get better you can get a running layup but we want to start stationary first follow through right on your right leg at your target Sometimes they tell you to hit the corner of the backboard, the corner of that square right there, off the backboard. Use the backboard, that's your supporting friend. Same thing on the right side. Now you're on your left leg. Right leg up, follow through. Elbow up, follow through. So now as you get better, back just like that dribbling drill, you can start timing it. How many layups can I make in a minute from each one of these spots? So I make one here, go here, get my rebound, make one, go here, and then you progressively know if your footwork and your shooting is getting where it's supposed to be, okay? Boys and girls, City of Richfield, thank you so much for having me and inviting me out to show you some of these drills. Just some basic drills. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, they not, uh, might not make you LeBron James in the next couple of days, but it will get you involved, it will get you active, it'll get you a little bit better. So thanks again, thanks for having me.